Okay. Show me. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dutch Sea Channel. And what have I got for you today? Are you seeing double? No. Um, I've got two Ishin Falcon 210 Pros over here. Now, uh, the right one is an F3 version, and this is a NACE 32 version. There's also a CC3D version. I really don't know why you'd want that version, but uh, well. Let's see, the, the really weird thing here is that the NACE 32 version, older chipset, uh, flies very well uh, right out of the box. The tune is uh, pretty good. Um, actually, it's good, period. Where the F3 version needs a lot of tuning. Huh, that is really weird. Now, that's not really a problem. If you are an experienced pilot, you can tune your quadcopter. But um, in uh, this video, for people that uh, aren't very uh, familiar with uh, tuning their quadcopter, I will show you how to get the F3 version of uh, this uh, Ishin Falcon Pro uh, flying well. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it would have been nice to uh, have you uh, spot the differences here, by the way. <laughs> there aren't a lot of uh, differences, obviously, be between these two versions. The major difference is that on the F3 version, the receiver is uh, mounted at the right side of the frame, and on the NACE 32 version, it's on the left side. Yeah. Oh, and uh, mine has a different uh, FPV. Antenna over here because I wanted a, a right-hand circular polarized antenna on the quadcopter. And I should mention one more thing, not unimportantly, the prices of these quadcopters have gone down dramatically. So even though there are some really strange design choices in these frames, they are now so cheap that it's actually a viable option, I think. Um, they are uh, nice and light. Uh, I really like flying them, so yeah, check uh, check out the current pricing and see for yourself. Okay, so wh what I'll do uh, now is uh, I'll show you how my F3 version flies with the new tune, and then I'll show you how that is done. Here we go. Okay, it is a little windier than I had hoped for. So uh, you might not be able to judge the iTunes completely, but as you can hopefully see, it is a very stable in the hover. Much better than it was, much better. Most of the jittering you see is uh, just from my fingers. It is a little cold over here. But yeah, with this tune, this quadcopter is now a very capable flyer. Much, much better than it was. I'm really, uh, yeah, it's uh, probably uh, a benefit of the new firmware as well. That helps. Oh, I, <laughs> I, uh, I haven't really uh, told you what my tune is, of course, but uh, I have installed a newer firmware for that, and um, yeah, maybe that helps as well. Yeah, now it is a very nice quadcopter to fly, for sure. And again, at the current price point, this, this quadcopter is now kind of uh, dirt cheap, isn't it? It sounds a little smoother as well, which is uh, 
logical, I guess, with the better tune. Okie dokie, so that's what it flies like. Now let's get back to the studio and then I'll show you what I did to get this Falcon 210 Pro with the F3 flight controller flying uh, better. Okay, so as mentioned, uh, one of the things I did to uh, make this uh, Falcon 210 Pro uh, fly better with the F3 board uh, was to uh, flash a newer firmware onto it uh, stock. The quadcopter comes with a, at least mine, uh, came with a Betaflight 3.01 firmware. And uh, what I have flashed onto it is uh, 3.1.5. Now, as of the time I uh, shoot this uh, video, there is already a, a newer version and you can, uh, can use that one. Won't make uh, much of a difference, I think. Uh, both will work just fine. So, uh, for this uh, video I will assume uh, some uh, experience in flashing firmwares onto quadcopters and there are a myriad of uh, videos on how to flash firmware onto quadcopters. Uh, one thing I should point out though is that you will have to set the baut rate to 115,200. Otherwise the board won't accept a new firmware. So that's that, okay, and um, well, after you flashed it, you check in uh, the CLI window if in fact your board now has a new firmware, and as you can see, 3.1.5 is the one I am using in this instance. Okay, and let's have a look at our configuration. I've uh, switched off the motor stop, that's a personal thing obviously. I like to have my prop spinning when the quad is armed. And you have to set the yaw degrees to 90. Um, yes, obviously uh, the receiver input is uh, PWM. Yay, okay. And here's a bigger change. I've set the gyro update frequency to 4K and the pit loop frequency to 4K and this is really a benefit of this newer firmware. Um, it's uh, written in, in a way that you can get away with higher frequencies for the gyro and pit loop. Uh, so. Um, accelerometer is on and everything. Okay and in this screen all other features are set to off at the bottom in the other features. The quadcopter doesn't have a, uh, a transponder, black box, things like that. So you can uh, switch all those off and that will lessen the load on the processor. Okay, then um, one of the most uh, important things of course. I won't uh, run you through all these numbers. But uh, you can obviously uh, pause the screen over here in the video and uh, have a look at my PID settings. I'm not even sure what I have changed. But again, you can have a look and uh, see for yourself what uh, pits I'm using now. Uh, don't forget to change the pit controller settings to 2 and uh, 0.3. That really uh, has an impact and uh, yeah you can uh, change your angle uh, limits and such uh, and obviously the rates to uh, your liking. Uh, no change in the TPA settings at all, stock, stock, beta flight. And um, yeah um, over here are the modes I use, well use. Horizon, I don't really use anymore, but uh, yeah, this is uh, my setup. I have not added a buzzer yet to the wizard, uh, sorry, the falcon, but I probably will. And that's it. 
that's everything and um, yeah if you uh, follow uh, this uh, video uh, make the changes uh, I did you'll have a much better flying Falcon 210 Pro with a F3 processor okay I hope that helped you out at least uh, steered you in the right direction for now thank you very much for watching if you are not subscribed yet please do and hope to catch you on the next video bye bye